Today we are doing alcohol and drug awareness, um, a big event, an alumni circle. We have 80 proof members here and they have set up games that the students can participate in while wearing the vision impairment goggles. This is our fourth year to participate in National Campus Safety Awareness Month and we are very excited about the new programming and events that we have for our students, faculty and staff. This year we've, we've, uh, we've created weeks where this week is Drug and Alcohol Awareness Week, next week will be Sexual Assault Awareness Week, then we're going to have Theft Prevention and Personal Safety Week, and then we're going to wrap up the month with Hazing Prevention Week. The goggles, we have them at different strengths, but the ones we have out here today actually are or a 0.08 impairment level. The takeaway is usually pretty um, prominent. The students are really surprised at the effects of the goggles um, and they usually walk away um, and say, you know, well, you know, this makes me not want to drink and drive. Uh, so I think it does have a good effect on the students and they do learn a very important lesson. I decided to uh, take the putting challenge and I had on the nighttime goggles at first and <clears throat> You uh, feel really dizzy and you can't really walk straight. The ball is uh, not where it normally should be. Uh, but somehow I still did drain the putt. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to happen, but I did walk the line. That was a little tougher. Um, not happening, I failed. He said that one of the goggles was double the legal limit and uh, you can't even function. You can't do much of anything when you double the limit and you know, that's no way to, to live your life.